Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you five helpful Google Docs features you might be overlooking. Some of these are relatively new, and so you might not know about them, or you might have just forgotten about them. Let's take a look. So first of all, let's take a look at smart chips. I recently published a video just about smart chips, but I thought I'd include it here as my first option. Smart chips you'll find in the insert menu, and you can see we have people, files, calendar events, and places. Let's use the place option, and I'm going to start typing the name of a place, like Fenway Park. And there we go. And now we have that Fenway Park smart chip, which, as you can see, instantly inserted a link to the Google map for it. And we can even open it up in a little preview here on the right hand side so that we can learn more. And we can, of course, then go and open it in full screen by clicking on Open in Maps. Now, the next option is something called Building Blocks, which again you'll find in the Insert menu. And go to the Insert menu and scroll down to Building Blocks where you'll see little templates for things like meeting notes and email drafts, but you'll also see things like trackers. And let's perhaps use the review tracker there. And you can see it's now inserted this little review tracker template for us. But we can change this out. And instead of being reviewer, we can just put in collaborator. And we can see you know, notes about the project. We can fill in there. And we can now put in something like Max as our collaborator. And we'll see, we'll have that, in, that option to invite Max to be the collaborator there as well. Now, the next option is the bookmark option. And this little option is really handy if you want to bookmark a section of a long document. Go to the insert menu, select bookmark, and that now bookmarks that section of the document. Really handy when you have a long document. Not so great when you have a short document. And let's go to the drop down menu option, and drop downs, you guessed it, we'll find again in that insert menu, but we're not gonna find it in building blocks. We're gonna see it right there at dropdown and allows us to create a new dropdown menu here. And instead of calling it configuration one, let's call it word list one. And we can put in a word list of something like run, ran running and we'll just leave it at those three options and save it and so now we see we have a word list that we can use as a drop down menu and finally let's look at image sources and alt text i get asked about this one quite a bit let's say we want to insert a picture of a cat into the document. The quickest and easiest way to do it is to go over here to the Explore menu and let's type in cat. Now let's go to Images and we'll see, hey, there's an image and there's another image. And let's preview it. And we'll see down here, images labeled for commercial use with modification, only select images you have confirmed the license to use. Well, let's insert it. And when we do, we'll notice that there's now a link to the source. Click through that link to make sure that you actually can use it. You can confirm the licensing right there on that page. Now, let's add some alt text to this image. And the easiest way to add alt text is to right click on the image, select alt text, and title cat. 
a brown and black striped cat with a white chest. And now I have my alt text for that image. So those are five Google Docs features that you might be overlooking or perhaps forgot about. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.